aircraft 221 to ship box 15 echoes entering LFA 7 this time, traveling south to north on two turns in the mock loop and then tradition of the night five pass. This is the DJI Mini 3 Pro. And if you're looking for an advanced mini camera drone, this might just be what you're looking for. Hi, I'm Ken Bouvier, and I'm a drone flight instructor with UAV Coach. Earlier this year, I did a beginner series with the DJI Mini SE. Now we're going to explore the Mini 3 Pro. In today's video, we're going to do an unboxing and we'll talk about some of the key features. So let's jump in. To start with, in the US, there's three different ways that you can buy this drone. The first is by the, just buying the drone itself, and that's about $669. The second way is to buy the drone with the older version of the uh, controller, the RCN1. And the last way is how we bought it, which is with the new RC controller. So let's take a look at what's inside this box. There's the drone. We've also got the DJI RC controller, which has the screen built in which means you don't need to use a phone or other mobile device. And then of course you have the accessories pack, which contains the charging cable. You've got an extra set of propellers. You've got the screwdriver for removing and installing the propellers. And of course you've always got the documentation. Again, it's a compact drone. It's 249 grams or less. Um, the, the arms are a little different this time where you can basically fold these out in any sequence now, whereas previously you had to fold out the, um, actually the downward arms first, which were the rear ones, and then you have to do the forward ones after that. So let's take a look at the drone. Uh, first of all, you've got the uh, gimbal cover, which is uh, kind of a standard gimbal cover. There is a, a little foam piece here to hold the gimbal in place, but uh, I think that's just for shipping. A couple things about this particular camera, and I'll go over basically what's different between this camera and um, basically the Mini 2. So this camera is now a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor. Uh, it has a fixed aperture at 1.7. This particular one takes um, 4K video at 60 frames per second and 4K at 30 frames per second in HDR. You can capture uh, photos at 48 megapixels, also in HDR. Uh, it has JPEG and RAW. The obstacle avoidance sensors, you've got two for, for the front, you've got uh, two downward, and then you have two that are for obstacle avoidance in the rear flight path, but those sensors are actually installed up here by the front. That's uh, the reason they're like that is because the um, design of this uh, uses the propellers to help cool the, the um, electronics in here. So when, in order to do that, they had to put the uh, sensors up front rather than in back because the way this is designed, you would be seeing the, the propellers um, in that obstacle avoidance view. The propellers, similar to the other um, sub 249 gram drones, um, are attached with screws rather than um, uh, popped on there, you know, where you can just screw the, the propeller in. As I mentioned, the, the battery on, the standard batteries on these are um, claimed to 
get you 34 minutes of flight time. There's a plus version. Like I said, you can buy the plus version um, Flamore kit. Those batteries claim a 47 minute flight time. The battery as, as uh, shown here is um, basically just slides in from the back. There is no uh, cover that covers the battery. The last thing that I'll mention are features that are available on the Mini 3 Pro that are not on the uh, Mini 2. That is uh, APAS, the Advanced Pilot Assistance System uh, 4.0, which helps in um, obstacle avoidance in real time during the flight. Uh, you also have Active Track 4.0 on the Mini 3, Point of Interest 3.0, Spotlight 2.0, uh, you have Master Shots, Time Lapse, and then of course the uh, vertical shooting with the camera, true vertical shooting, which is basically uh, a, a true portrait perspective for uh, social media type of purposes. So let's uh, put this aside, put the drone aside for a bit, and let's talk about the, um, the new um, DJI RC controller. So this is not available on the other models yet. Um, could potentially be um, in the future, but um, so basically kind of looking at the, the controller, you still have the typical, you have the power button, you have the flight mode selector between cinema mode, um, normal and sport mode. You've got the return to home button and, and flight pause button. Of course, you got the, the joysticks. The, these control sticks are actually a little bit different now. Um, we'll see when we get out and test these. Of course, you've got the, the built-in screen. Uh, it's a five and a half inch diagonal screen with uh, 700 nit brightness. Um, if we take a look, you've also got the LED lights here, status lights. If you take a look at the, the top, uh, you've got the um, video recorder button, the photo button, uh, you've got the uh, control wheels for the gimbal um, coming around the back. You've also got the C1, C2 button, which are customizable. Those are all kind of standard. You've got the storage for the joysticks here. And if we take a look at the, uh, the bottom, You've got the uh, USB-C port for charging. And then you have a slot for the SD card, which is um, required for uh, if you're using um, screen recording or screenshots on here, you need the SD card in there. Um, and then there's a, what they call a host uh, port for a, a cell phone dongle on there. So that's basically the controller. One item of note is that there are no um, external antennas on this controller. The antennas are built in here. So this controller also does come with the DJI Fly app installed. And uh, once we get this uh, charged up, we'll get both uh, batteries charged up and then we'll uh, dive in a little bit to the DJI Fly app and anything that's um, new for the, the Mini 3 specifically. So here we are at the DJI Fly app home screen. When you first launch the app, you will get the updates to do firmware updates. You'll need to answer various questions and go through all of those screens. You'll get pop-ups here about activating DJI care refresh things like that I'm going to skip past all those for now at the bottom here you can see the icons where the aircraft is connected to the controller and the controllers connected to the screen I hope so since it's part of the same thing I'll go ahead and click on go fly and as we come into the app display and you can actually see what the drone is seeing this will look very similar to all the other models that use the DJI Fly app. 
you have the uh, flight mode at the top you have the status the top there you can click on there and it gives you the status and this is where you also set all your uh, return to home altitudes and so on and so forth won't go into those you have your uh, flight times you have your RC control uh, strength satellites settings so on and so forth now the thing that's unique to the mini 3 pro is the icon right here in the middle which allows you to switch to the portrait mode or the vertical shooting mode that's new for the mini 3 if I go to the photos uh, button here you can see you have single you have 48 megapixel you have AEB burst and time uh, shot under video you have normal and slow motion now new to the mini 3 is you have master shots which is not available on the mini 2 you do have quick shots which is the same you also now have hyperlapse and panorama those are basically the changes to the mini 3 as far as the app is concerned the rest of what you see on here is basically the same as all the others that's about it for the unboxing and setup some of the key points are like i mentioned you want to make sure you get the uh, battery on the drone fully charged before you start this process and um, and then definitely before you head outside so uh, we will be doing um, a couple more videos with the mini 3 uh, next one is we'll be going outside and and basically doing some demonstrations and testing and some of the features so make sure that you uh, subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified when we when we do that and um, until then all of us here at UAV coach wish you blue skies and safe flying and we'll see you soon